It is 3.15 p.m. Johanna said that she would be here at 3 o'clock, and yet, here we are, and Johanna isn't here. <sighs> no sign of her in the driveway because she is always late and because she is not very conscientious of my time. She's here at last. Hey! Hi! What took you so long? Oh, I got stuck behind a wreck. Oh my god, seriously? Yeah, it wasn't too serious, but it took forever to get moving again. God, I'm glad you guys made it. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Abby, and what you just saw was an example of the actor-observer effect. So the actor-observer effect describes our tendency to attribute other people's behaviors to an internal cause, while being more likely to attribute our own behavior to external causes. So I attributed Johanna's lateness to an internal cause, which I described as her lack of respect for my time, whereas I would be far more likely to attribute my lateness to something external, like my alarm not going off. Hey, what'd you get on the exam? Oh, I got a 98. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I studied for like six hours, so I was pretty psyched. <laughs> wow. Hey, what'd you get on the exam? I got a 70. Oh no. Yeah, this exam was way harder. Like, I cannot wait for evaluations because this professor is a jerk. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johanna, and what you just saw was an example of the self-serving bias, which allows us to attribute our successes to internal factors, like our devotion to studying, but attributes our failures to external factors, like our professor being a jerk. <laughs>